Hello everyone. Um, I have another art subscription box. Of course, this one is a smart art box. Uh, before I get into the box, though, let me tell you that I actually had opened, I had already started a, a video on this, but um, unfortunately, my battery died. Why? I do not know because I had just charged the day today. So I, it was like 14 minutes in, it died. So I think it's the charger. I may have to get a new charger for it for my batteries. But anyway. Be that as it may. Um, an update on my eye. I saw the doctor today. Eyes much, much better. I'm still having uh, trouble, you know, in distance seeing, but not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's this is getting sharper and sharper by the day. So anyway, so that's good news. And I have my next surgery on April 3rd. So at least it's not April 1st. <laughs> of course, that's a Sunday. Or Yeah, it's a Sunday anyway, so. But at least it didn't fall on a Tuesday. <laughs> but anyway, so let me get into Art's uh, Smart Art Box. Like I said, I already opened it, so I already know what's in it. But um, you don't. <laughs> so let's open it up. Oh, come on now. There we go. And for those of you who are not familiar with Smart Art Box, it is a monthly prescription box. Not, not sub prescription, subscription. <laughs> It's a monthly subscription box that has an art project in it, and um, and uh, you know you do the project and they give you the supplies, and I know what this one is. This is about inking, and I've done this project once before, and it was last last year, I think in November, I believe it was, and this one is all about jacquard inks or pinata inks. And let me, I'll hold it steady so that you can read the first two paragraphs. Get it down there. And then, well, maybe if I bring the camera back a little bit. There we go. You can read the paragraphs. Hopefully you can read the paragraphs. And then over here, it gives you a little bit of, it gives you information on how it all started. And, um, and then, of course, on the back, it shows you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do an alcohol uh, ink painting. And in the box, we have three um, pinata inks. Um, let me see. One sunlight yellow, chili pepper, and Baja blue. And here are the inks. Here are the inks. And then we also have a Pinata Colaro extender. Let me see, one of these is the extender. This is the extender. And the purpose of the extender is to um, uh, slow the drying time of the alcohol. Because you, as you all know, alcohol dries really fast. And then we also have um, a Pinata Clean Up Solution. And how you use this is you, um, let me see here, it's, uh, it's especially um, for use with jacquard uh, pinata colors. This solution contains moisturizers that keep brushes and sponges so, um, soft and pliable. Uh, first use regular rubbing alcohol to clean off most of the color, then follow with the cleanup solution for the final um, rinse. And then we have an Art Alternatives Illustration Blender Marker, which is this little thing. And it has two uh, nibs. It's got a brush nib, I mean a chisel nib. And it has a brush nib. And then we have a Yupo Translucent Watercolor Paper Pad, 5x7. Now, all the ones that I've had before were just little, you know, little small ones. So this is kind of cool, and I'm very familiar with Yupo paper. Um, you have to wait for it to dry. It's not like, you know, you put it there on and then it's, you know, it dries. No, you have to literally wait for it to, uh, and it's very easy to remove. Like, say, if you're not happy with it, with your, your, with your design, you can just wipe it off. But so far, you know, well, unless I'm doing like like paint samples or whatever, then I um I I leave it on there. Um, but you do have to wait for it to dry. Um, my problem is is a lot of times I'm not patient and I you know I just want to get it dry. But I'm getting used to the UPO paper. And if it wasn't for these subscription boxes, I would not know about this paper. And it's really 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 smooth. It's I mean there is no tooth to it. It's not. It's just smooth. I mean you put. 
ink on that and it'll just it just just goes down really easy same with paint anything and like I said you can wipe it right off if you know if you're not happy with it and then we have a Princeton series 6500 Aspen brushes filbert size dos oh that's the wrong end and that's the, I've got another I've got another I've got another filbert like this but anyway, so that's that brush. And then last but certainly not least, we have a Sakura Microperm Pin Black or Black Pin. It's 0 0.45 millimeters. It says permanent micro pin ink pins can achieve ultra fine lines. They will write on most surfaces, are quick drying, waterproof, and resistant to cleaners. For writing in micro spaces or on unusual and challenging surfaces, the micro pin meets the challenge, making precise, long lasting marks on glass, plastic, wood, metal, glossy sheets, cellophane, paper, CDs, photographic, and x ray film, even circuit boards, test tubes, and diamonds. Because they had diamonds in, in explanation point. So, this is a versatile little bugger. Um, let me see here. Where is my, there it is. Now I, um, I've already did swatches, like I said, because my, uh, thing ran out of ink, not ink, but, uh, my battery died on me. So let me show you these. This is the swatches for the, um, the Jakara, uh, Jakara, is it Jacquard? Jacquard? Yeah, Jacquard, uh, Pinata inks. These are the swatches that I did. And then this is the Sakura uh, uh, pin. So I already did that. I don't have to do it again. Um, like I said, my battery died on me. So anyway, that is the Smart Art Box for um, March. Now, I will be getting to the Smart Art Box for February. As you all know, my eyes were not the best in, in the best of shape. So I really didn't get much done for the, you know, art projects and whatnot, so, um, but my eyes are better, I've even, um, completed a, um, project from a previous art, an art box that I just uploaded not too long ago, it was the, it was February's box that I did, I finally did the project for, so when the April box comes, I will show you what I came up with, but I will give you a clue, it, and you can look back at my previous vi uh, videos. I will not tell you what the art box was, but you can look back at my some of my videos because I showed you with this uh, with this item this item in the box, and this is what it was. Now I've already got my project done. I am not going to show it to you because I will wait for the for the next box to show you what I did. But I'm very happy with it. I'm very proud of it. I want to do a large one. So anyway, and then also my friend and I went to a thrift store. And she picked me up because I had told her, um, well, she had seen some of this particular project that I did. And we we found these, and I thought, ooh, I can use the the uh, ink from this particular project that we did. I think it was in November. It was from a uh, palletful packs box where we used, where they s supplied us with a couple of tiles. So, <laughs> we found 16 tiles. So I'm going to use these for, um, use the ink that, the alcohol ink that came in the, 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 uh, uh powerful packs box. And, Cause I had such fun, um, doing, using the, um, the ink on the tiles. So, and I want to do it again. And I think I might do it with this one. You know, we use the, just for, for giggles. I will use the inks that are in this box. I'll just have to find, I think i got a white tile in here. I haven't taken these apart, but it looks like this tile right here is a white tile. And we've got a black tile right here. And it looks like I've got a yellow tile, um, a gray tile. So I've got several tile colors. Of course, green's right up on top here. Looks like an orange tile. So, I mean, I really had fun doing with the tiles. And I want to do it again. So I was. This was fortuitous that we that we ran across these tiles because I really wanted to do it again. The only thing I don't have is a little adhesive on the bottom to stop it from scratching surfaces. But still, I want to. And I'm, maybe I can make them for gifts or something because I really had a good have, had a fun time with the tiles. Anyway, that's uh, that's that. And. Um, 
Till next time, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. And wherever you are in the world, I hope the sun is shining and you're not getting rain and showers. Unless you like that kind of thing, which is I'm, I'm one of them who do, does like rain. I love the rain. I love to hear it on the roof. I love to hear it because we have a metal awning in the back. And um, I love to hear the rain hitting it. And um, I love the smell of the air after a rain or even during a rain. So, anyway, because it clears the air and everything's so fresh and new. Anyway, so, but there are people out there that find the rain gloomy and they just want the sun to come out. And, um, but being, being said, I live in the Southwest and when it's, you know, cloudy and rainy, I'm like, don't come out, son, don't come out. And with my eyes, I was, I was making a joke with the um, Uber driver this morning and I said, oh, pardon me. Um, I said that, you know, I don't know why, but I just can't get God to turn down the, you know, the light source, <laughs> turn down the sun a little bit. <laughs> I said, sometimes he puts a cloud across it, but that only lasts for a few minutes. <laughs> because I always have to wear sunglasses when I go outside because my eyes are really light sensitive. I mean, it's when the doctor puts that little light in my eye, it's like literally painful for me. And that's just part and parcel of my diabetes. So it's just something I have to live with. Anyway, um... Y'all be good to each other. Till next time, God bless. Bye.